boy King Say Sound. I'm back with another video. Hope you get to it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check out the search box to find my channels. Hit the like button because we are on the road to 1k. More people gonna like button the faster we get there. That's what I said. That's what I said. When Tom Robinette moved in here, it took me nine years to know what he was. And I found that out on TV when they was trying to make trouble with him. What's good, y'all? Y'all keep begging me to do another Act Black video. So we came all the way to the most racist town in the whole United States to right. knock out this one. Big, big shout out to my dogs, Gideon and Nico. The videos they did here was absolutely insane. But now it's time to put some Young Booty P flavor into it. Let's go talk with the public. Let's go see what the fuck going on in the most racist town in America. It's Young Booty P. I mean, I don't really think they really, really eat them. I think they're supposed to just like the flavor just go in their mouth. Pause. <laughs> I was, I was swear, I was trying to find a way before I said that sentence. I was trying to find a way in my head to say in a way that did sound sus. But any way you say it don't sound sus. <laughs> so hey, y'all get what I mean though. But that stuff, I don't see how y'all do it, bro. The people that do that, that's nasty, bro. It be black. You gotta keep spitting. Uh, this thing about it right now is uh. Act black. Act black for a cash prize. What about the I Have a Dream speech by Martin Luther King? He goes, I have a dream. Wait, I thought it was I'm Not Getting Up. I don't know. That was Rosa Parks. I have a dream that all the white kids and black kids will hold hands one day walking down the street. So you coming to the cookout, my brother? Yeah, so we come to the cookout. Yeah, we got go the Kool-Aid and the fried chicken. The shoddies. Hey, y'all come out to the cookout tonight. We're going to have the Kool-Aid, the fried chicken, and the shoddies. Who was the baddest black celebrity? <laughs> I'm trying to think. No. Oh, who's Will Smith's wife? Oh, uh, the one that where he slapped Kevin Rock. Cause you guys talking about Will? gang shit, no lame shit. Act black. <laughs> Throw it over to start. <laughs> Have you ever been to Slap City? No. Okay. Barely been out of Harrison. Where's like one place where you like really want to go? Probably Memphis, cause like the barbecue. So you like a more of like a CMG Yo Gotti fan, or were you like low key more fucking with like Key Glock and them? Not a clue. How did Young Dolph touch you? Black. I'd rather not. Oh, I thought you was doing the um, Tiana Trump. If you just had to say like "fuck it" and like "act black," how would you do that? Yo. Wait, what? Yo. What is like a, a, a like stereotype then? I want to be honest. I don't know what a stereotype is. So stereotype. Um, you know your car radio. So I have bowls in my car. So my stereotype is bowls. But other radios might have like the Beats audio. Y'all niggas hiring? Hmm? Are like y'all niggas hiring? Walmart? Yeah. What's the like in word policy at work? Am I able to use it with like other people? Like let's say like it's my first day, right? And I'm like, yo, what's up, my nigga? You trying to get these pants? Would that be would I get a raise? What's good, nigga? Yo. Hey. Uh special announcement, but well, ain't a special announcement, but I'm trying to get into stuff like this. I'm trying to start getting into public interviews and all this type of stuff. Tell them you know, tell them more excitement. But I don't currently have a cameraman yet. When I, once I get a cameraman. We finna take things up to another notch. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all keep rocking with the with the grind, man. Make sure y'all follow the family, man, because we we are a family. We do this as a partner thing. I react to the video or I upload the video and y'all watch me hit the like button and make sure you subscribe. And so this is a family. This, that's how the channel works. Just make sure you hit that like button and stay tuned, man. Chicken and pants, like you think that would get the sale? Most likely, yeah. Sell me these pants. Would you like to buy some pants, they're cool. You know who Jeffree Star is? I don't like so. Just based off that name, smash or pass. You look like Morgan Wallen. You got that before? Morgan Wallen? I could kind of see that. Bro, you look just like him. You never like got that before. The mustache. So you're saying that he's cute, in other words? I mean, he's handsome. Long night with the boys. Club closed at 2 a.m. And it's 158. Morgan Wallen comes up to you and say, Would you let him give you that? Give me what? Would you let him at least flick the little tip of it a little bit? No. No, nah, but like, say, say if he like, thoughts on James Charles? Oh, no. Uh, for a cash prize, act black. 
what's cash price? Yo, man, what's up? It's been a while. Nice seeing you again. Morgan, I need you to put some bass in that voice, man. Yo, man. How you doing, man? It's been a while. I like what you've done with the dreads. Looking nice. <laughs> I like what you've done with the dreads. Yo, what's up, man? Been a while. I like what you've done with the dreads. Have you ever heard a black guy say that? No. Would you let Cardi B sit in your face? Be honest. No, no, no be honest. Why not? No. Why not? Is it too big? Now, guys, I'm not racist. <laughs> He about to say some old racist shit ever, bro. Anyway, if you gotta say that line, you know you finna say something racist. Uh, for a cash prize, act black. What's cash prize? Yo, man, what's up? It's been a while. Nice seeing you again. Morgan, I need you to put some bass in that voice, man. Yo, man. How you doing, man? It's been a while. I like what you've done with the dreads. Looking nice. <laughs> I like what you've done with the dreads. Yo, what's up, man? Been a while. I like what you've done with the dreads. Have you ever heard a black guy say that? No. Would you let Cardi B sit in your face? Be honest. No, no, no be honest. Why not? No. Why not? Is it too big? Now, guys, I'm not racist. But I like keeping my genetics pure. No, I... No, I, no it's I've had so many black... No, I've had black friends. No, before. it's... Yeah. 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 I like to keep it pure. So are you saying black people and Hispanic people not pure? Uh, Y'all let me know. <laughs> what he what he mean by that? Just like keeping it pure. What if it's Zendaya? You know who that is from yeah. Euphoria? Ooh, that yeah. would, that'd be a hard one, man. She is pretty beautiful. But hey no. Guys, How you doing? We don't allow anybody to record in the store. Wait, do you want to hold it for us then and be the no, camera? There? No, we don't allow. Oh, I, th I thought you was jealous because he was doing it. Can we just finish this up really quick? It's only gonna take three more hours. Like I said, I'm not racist, but my dad, he, when my mom and dad divorced, he got with a woman, and that usually ch mixed children don't come out right, or the mothers have right. C sections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids too big. And there's more than just that. I kind of, I don't know. In a way, I kind of feel like that. This, this is what's wrong with America, bruh. This is what's wrong with America, dog. He said, Miss kids come out, come out, basically messed up, or they gonna make me have a C section. A C section. I'm not mixed. My mama had a C section with me, bruh. What the fuck? He's about to get, he about to, he about to have me go off, bruh. What are you talking about? In a way, too. Yeah. All my friends are white, you know? And I've, I've always, all right, well, if I grew up like that, keep it like it. Fuck yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? By me having that mindset in a way, is it wrong for me to try to hook up and have a kid with a white girl? What if it's like, all right, let's start a good strand of blacks? Because I'm a patron. I don't think it should happen. If it does, I mean, heck, you can't do anything about it. Do you think that this is the most racist town in America? Mmm... I don't know for sure. So we over here fully undercover mode, and uh, we try to talk to people. But here's the thing that I keep missing on camera. Every time we stop at like a gas station or something, we always get compliments on our shirts and everything. My family got a Let's Go Brandon shirt on. But we was just in the car chilling, eating. Three dudes walked up, gave us the head nod, and showed us the thumbs up, pointing at our shirts. Just because we were wearing this, bro. It looks like I'm playing Grand Theft Auto, went into the garage after I had five stars. Right now, we finna head to Zinc, Arkansas right now. Zinc, Arkansas is where the leader of the KKK live. From the locals, I heard is nothing but a dirt road town. I just want to see, is there anybody over there that will act black? End of the road right now, and it's dirt, dude. It's a dirt road. I thought it was, nah, bro. Nah, nigga. Bro. Nah, dog. Hey, get your phone out, nigga. Yeah, bro. Let's, let's fucking turn around, bro. This is a dirt road town, bro. Where the hanky paws? Should I talk to that dude over there? The, the dude. Yeah. yeah. What should I say? I have lived here all my life. When Tom Robinette moved in here, it took me nine years to know what he was. And I found that out on TV when they was trying to make trouble with him. They just said the, the leader, the Grand Wizard of the KKK lives in Zinc. Act black. My area of expertise is not black people, it's white people. Do you know who this is? Not a clue. Take a guess. <laughs> Some fella in sunglasses. What do you think he do for a like, living? If you had to flip a coin and it was like a billion dollars if you get it right and no dollars if you get it wrong, would you say that he does country music? Uh, I, I, but like, what about it is like, oh, like he's definitely not a country singer. I just can't see him in a pair of beer overhauls with a banjo. <laughs> His name was Chief Keith. He's from 0600 block. You ever heard of Chirac? See, we live in a modern world 
were our former white nations. Can't be white nations anymore. Any white neighborhoods can't be exclusively white anymore. Buddha. I got enough problems around white people. Uh, right. They're not perfect. Now, imagine they were the same thing, but had melanin in them. Holy fuck, right? You wouldn't no. want me as your neighbor? No. Have you ever heard of the Kodak Bop? Nope. I got a full five. The bitch got extra kid. Pop it on the bitch. Hey, this is my only thing when it comes when it comes to, to racist white people at least. She ain't gotta be mad at ourselves. And y'all and y'all ancestors and y'all great great ancestors. She ain't gotta be mad at them and not mad at black people. Cause y'all great ancestors is the one that, that started it. <laughs> y'all broke us here, bruh. Like what? You you thought you were gonna break us in, we gonna oh we gonna alright, 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 a master, we gonna we we we, we gonna we gonna walk back to there. We walked back to Africa. Is that what y'all thought was going to happen? So, so done. So, so done. I think I've seen something like that on a comedy show. Right. Am I your favorite black guy you ever met? No. Is there any African American <laughs> in this world that you no. like more than a white no. person? Depends on both. Me? Or this white rock right here? Be honest. Don't lie to me. The rock. It serves a purpose. A lot of oh, the white rocks no got a road. What if I move next door? <laughs> well, there's nothing I can legally do about it. Have you ever slept with a black girl? No. Keep it a buck. You ever like? <laughs> would you ever sleep with a black girl? No. What's your type, by the way? I don't have any type. Like, what about it? Uh, to start with, I don't do that. Dre Michelle. <laughs> no. Would you let her sit on your face though? Like, no. Like, you've never been like down bad two a.m. You damn near about to explode and it's like damn you wouldn't even just let like megan stallion like low-key like like no, sit on you no i don't in indiscriminately chase everything what uh, do you usually chase uh i usually chase a bag who's your favorite black icon rondo number nine never heard of it five hundred thousand dollars <laughs> or dinner with jay-z five hundred thousand dollars why it's worth something <laughs> labor day or Black History Month. Labor Day. Hey, when people be asking that question, I don't get it. Like, look, do y'all really? So, it, if you have a dinner, a dinner day with Jay Z, y'all let me know in, in the comments. I know this is like kind of off subject, but if you had the dinner day with him, do you think that because you had you had a dinner day with him that he's gonna give you all the gems and the things that you need to know to make you as, as um, rich as him or successful as him, I hardly doubt it. I hardly doubt. I think that's gonna be a, a great. It's probably gonna be a great time, a great conversation. If you know how to, if you, if the person, if you know, if you know how to open up, can think about it. Just like we watch um, a lot of interviews. If the person, if the rapper who's getting injured is not talking, <laughs> the conversation was pointless. So therefore, it's like if you're not the type of person to even talk. That dinner day is gonna be done. And then too, like. A lot of people that said that they would take the dinner day with Jay Z, you ain't even got nothing going for you for him to motivate you to to make it even more bigger. Like you ain't you ain't rapping, you ain't singing, you ain't doing no art, you ain't doing no beats, you ain't doing no drawing, you ain't no YouTube or no nothing. But you but you think he, that dinner day with him, with him is gonna take you up to the next notch? I don't get it. Me, give me that money, bro. If it was up to you, would you want all black people gone? I wouldn't want to be around them. If you was to go to L.A., who would you check in with? I would not go to L.A. <laughs> you wouldn't be over there like Slauson and like Crenshaw? Would you ever go to the Bronx? I wouldn't go back to any part of New York. Thoughts on Bronx drill rap? None. Uh, I like classical music. Trash. You wouldn't go to like a concert with it or nothing? No, oh hell no. <laughs> I'm out of my element. Wheezy F baby and the F is for phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if he says so. Who do you think was the best president in the last 20 years? Obama. Wow, really? He made everything racial overnight. Oh, oh. shit, that took a motherfucking turn. <laughs> so you said Obama because you liked that he made it racial. Oh yeah. So would you consider Obama the like goat? Goat? The greatest of all time? No. I'm talking to someone part, but he made it racial? Because y'all cared so much that he was black and being president. That's why he, he made it racial. Do you think Obama did something that Tom Robb can't? Well, Come on now. I don't like any president we've had in my lifetime. You don't like Trump? No. 
fuck. So I'm not, I'm not like low key like tripping at all. <laughs> he didn't pardon the uh, January 6 people that were his people, but he did pardon a lot of rich people. He did pardon Kodak Black, and Kodak Black do be putting on for Broward. I don't like a traitor. Who's the greatest basketball player of all time? I have no idea. Just say Larry Bird. He's white. Uh, <laughs> Just say, who's the greatest rapper of all time? Come on, it I starts not a clue. Eat. It's your favorite candy, Eminem. Never. Uh, I'm out of my element. Who is? This. Nigga don't give a fuck about none of it. You bitch ass niggas be hiding. We real head hunters, man. Bitch ass nigga, and you caught the kid and left in the hole and left. Don't have a clue. <laughs> nope. His name is Famous Dex. You ever heard of him? Nope. Do I look stupid? Be honest. Ah uh, yeah, a uh, Dexter. You just showed me a dance move. Right. Let me show you one of my moves. Feel thrill to the wheel, ball. Gotta hold it down. Pussy like a rookie. I ain't gonna lie. Hold up, nigga. What the fuck was that? Hell no, I can't do that. Can you get sturdy? Sturdy? Nope. How many black people usually come through here a day? None. Would you ever invite me over to have dinner? Oh no. What if a random white guy came and was like, No. Mm, I'm hungry. I get full. What if I want to bring you back to the hood just so you could get experience and then you could be like, Oh shit, look at this jungle. I've been around the hood before. Okay. Didn't much like it. Now, when you was there, did you kind of consider yourself like hood nigga? No, I was passing through. I made a wrong turn coming down here and went through Memphrica. Memphrica? Memphis, Africa. Did you ever go to Africa? Oh, hell what? no. To see all the great blacks. What's your pronouns? I'm a male. I'm a man. I'm a he. I don't get into that mentally ill stuff. Okay. I'm I'm Zer. What do you feel about that? Mental illness is contagious. Last question. I didn't get a hotel. Can I sleep over at your shit tonight, gang? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He crazy, yeah. I didn't like that idea a lot. I'm here yeah. watching the Bollywood. Yeah. You don't want it? For sure. <laughs> Never that. Jesus, nigga. Hey, make sure you like him, subscribe, kick the video.